Far Cry Primal. This just came out a few days ago, and I've been a, been very busy with some other games, mostly Plants vs. Zombies, Garden Warfare 2, some DS stuff as well, that I'm not really... I'm 7.05% I'm through 3 hours, 28 minutes, and a lot of that is my... I've probably only put about 45 minutes into this game. We've got a little... I guess maybe inspired by Alan Wake, where when you load your, your save, it lets you know what's going on. I don't really want to spoil this. I just want to show you the gameplay, because that's what really matters most in a... especially a game like this. So I'm going to skip cutscenes and things like that. But for the most part, you're playing a caveman, <laughs> uh, a Winja who's looking for other Winja, and it's sort of like a struggle for power, kind of Mad Max-ish in that regard. I don't think too many people are going to think too much about the story. They all speak in a native dialect, and it's all subtitled. A little bit of pop-in right there. I am playing on the Xbox One, and first of all, visually, it looks pretty good. It's a little washed out, um, but one of the things I like about this engine, Ubisoft's engine, is that you see a lot of grass in other games, and it, it doesn't blend in with the actual ground. You see the the actual grass models, the the objects here, and a lot of times they're planes, and these look like planes with uh, alpha transparencies to make them soft a little bit. It looks like they may blur a little bit when they move, and a lot of times the grass just seems to be very um, washed out when sitting on the ground, but this blends beautifully. And that's it, it's a really good looking game though. Again, I the trees back there are a little bit washed out, a little bit soft lighting back there. I'm I'm big into contrast, high contrast. And here's my wolf, by the way. But anyways, um, the wolf you can see he's got he looks pretty good, pretty good. Visually, it's a pretty good looking game. But you know, I don't think it looks as good as Far Cry 4, maybe because it doesn't seem like there's a whole lot going on. To be honest with you, it seems a little bit more sedated. Here's a little camp I've got unlocked. And again, I'm gonna be sort of relearning this as I haven't played this in a couple of days but this is a wolf that my my five-year-old tamed and you know one of the things about this game that I have to say is I'm gonna look through the map and find something to do um, but one of the things about this game is that let's go to this unknown location and we'll see if we can find anything any trouble to get into along the way it is similar in some regards to previous Far Cry games. I don't know if I can fall down here and die. Guess we're gonna find out. As I slid down, see now down here looks pretty good. Down here it's very contrast. It just looks great. Look at the lighting, the way that the 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 the, the shrubbery continues to look good. And here's a big part of the game: gathering resources to craft items and hold down the left bumper and you can craft instantly from this wheel um, can make some meat I've got you can set your items on fire as well with X and it'll tell you you need animal fat to set on fire as you can see over on the left side to make a club you need two hardwood two flint one animal hide that's what I've got out right now and it looks like I thought something saw me but one of the things about this game is that it feels a little bit... This is one of my camps. I guess they got green diamonds above their head. Again, I'm sort of relearning this. So I'm not coming in fully prepared, which I think is a good thing. for Because really this is a video for people who are trying to figure out if they should buy this game. So um, a, a lot of times you watch someone play a game and it looks very simple and very easy to play. But we've got a lot of bad guys over here. So let's go beat their asses a little bit. I'm just going to club these dudes. And you have to be careful because if you start clubbing your own guys, they will get pissed off and start attacking you. Though I think if you go away and come back, see my wolf's doing some fighting and I can heal him. You can see his health starting to lower a little bit. And I'm going to loot these guys. You're very limited in regards to how much you can carry. Though you do have stashes at each of the camps that you unlock where you can store items. I try to keep it all on me. I, I really wish you could just carry as much as you wanted to. I understand the concept of the immersion of, look, you can't carry 600,000 pieces of wood. But 
at the same time, it would be a lot more fun if you didn't have to. It, you know, it, there's there's basically a restriction put in saying, look, you can carry stuff, but you're going to have to go here and get more stuff or put some stuff here. I'm going to go ahead and I don't know why I healed right there. I've got three bars of health down there. So I guess this, this must be a dynamic event, I guess. It's up at the top, he says, defend the win winja. So you can see that there's the four diamonds, which I guess represents each of these villagers. So I guess that was completed. And I cannot heal my beast. I need meat to heal the beast. There's still more There's still more guys coming, so... If he dies, you can resurrect him. And I think he's dead. Yes, he died. Let's go up here. I'll show you some archery real quick. And I'm going to set the arrows on fire. Well, I'm already in aiming mode. Aiming is actually... It, it feels difficult. But it's, it's very sticky. It's kind of interesting the way it works. You, feel, you always feel like you're going to miss. Right there, I should have missed, but I still hit the guy. And... Okay, so... I helped him. And I got a reward for it. I did not read what the reward was, but... So... Okay, so I guess he's... Okay, so now he's bleeding out, so I have to... And I'm having an issue right here. I can't move. Got a little stuck right there. That's okay. Well, let's see if I can get some meat. Here's my guts bag. Uh, I get bait. Where is meat? How do I get meat? Oh, you know what? I crafting meat. Did I, I? My brain just shut off for a minute. So he's just gonna die, and I'm gonna have to get him back. Yeah. Um. Actually, maybe this guy has some meat. He had flint. Uh, so he's gonna die. To get meat, you need. My kid's going to be so angry. You need to kill animals. That's how you get meat. I missed that time. Usually you don't miss. You always feel like you're going to miss it, and you'd never miss. You should really be using a club here. I believe I can get my wolf back. I'm just not sure how to do that. And again, my kid's going to be furious when he finds out. Hopefully he won't play this anytime soon. So, obviously it's going to get a lot of comparisons to Far Cry 4. And Far Cry 4 is modern. There's vehicles. Uh, you have mounts. I haven't gotten a mount in this game yet. See, I could kill this wolf and get some meat. Except he's running away. No, come back. I want to murder you. Oh, he decided to come back. I should be able to skin him for some meat. Yeah, I got two meat on that one. And you've also got... You see this, you click the right stick. It's kind of interesting because... I don't know if this is a bad guy or not. It's not a bad guy. That's wonderful. But you click down the right stick, and I'm just going to show you this. If you click it, just barely click it, nothing happens. If you hold it down, then this happens. Oh, my eagle's mer... Is that my... No, that's not my eagle. I have an eagle. I can control him. I'll show you that in a moment. But that's hunter vision, and it stays on for a while. I really don't like... I assume this thing's going to try to swoop down and get me. Maybe not. I'm getting out of here. Some butterflies. Nice little ambient effect. So we're going to head this way, see what we can find. Oh, we got something right here. What are these? There's two of them. Where's the other one? Come on. Come on. Some sort of Jabberwocky monster. Get some more meat, possibly. Come on. A dole. And, you know, right here, we had a... Look at that. The light shining through the trees looks really cool, too. Oh, and here's this guy just standing here. I don't know where he came from, but trying to jump the spear at me. So let's grab his stuff. Eventually, we're going to make it to this objective. I'm not even going to go back for this other guy. Let's check out the water effects here. Nice shimmer off of the light. 
Very strong bloom. But a really good looking game. Really good looking game. There is a lot of stuff just impeding my progress. Not gonna lie, it's getting old. Though I will have a lot of meat when it's all said and done. I don't know if he's coming back around. And you can also see, let's see if you can see this. Um, you can't see it here, but if you... I'll show you in a bit. But if you shoot an animal with an arrow and they run off, if you don't kill them, they'll leave blood trails, so your hunter vision allows you to see that. I think some people may be a little bit... You know what? I can do it right here, possibly. Ah, they... I got too close. You can actually sneak through the grass. It's a little late now, but let me see if I can go ahead and hit one. We can see the blood trail. Where do you go? Cancel my arrow. I have no idea where they went. All right. Well, back to the club. So here's one of the things about the game that's a little can be a little bit frustrating is I need to go somewhere and I can't walk straight. I have to go around. And the, the 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 map. Oh, here's all. Oh, look at this. This looks fantastic. Look at the. You know, you don't see a lot of really. The lighting is inconsistent, not to a fault, but to a. I mean, that just looks amazing. That's fantastic. When people start telling you that the next gen isn't next gen enough, and you show them something like that, that looks amazing. That's just great. And as someone who's who's worked in 3D gaming briefly. That's impressive to me, to see that kind of artistry, which, yeah, the engine's pulling most of the weight, but building the engine to do something like that is very impressive. Get some red leaves. I thought that was a giant bear over there for a second. Bears kick my ass. If I see one, I will attempt to fight it. Okay, let's see. I just keep running into these. Uh, that's a friendly. So I don't want to mess with him. I don't want to piss him off. If they calm down, I might be able to get a shot off on one. And oh my god, there's a mastodon. Or a woolly mammoth, or. <laughs> I'm not sure. There's a couple of them, actually. I'm not going to mess with them. I don't think they'll mess with me. The creatures are cool, the animals are cool. There's, it doesn't seem like there's a huge amount of variety here, which is kind of surprising. There are turtles. I've seen turtles, which are pretty cool. Let's get a good look at this guy if you want to take a look at him. I'm not going to attempt to tame him because I don't think I can. Again, I'm pretty early in the game. Let's see if we can hit this wolf with a arrow. Or it won't kill him. Ah, I missed. He moved. Oh, it's sticking in his head. So let's see. Yeah, you can see that. Okay, so the blood is... Oh, he's annihilating me. I guess I should probably whack him with a club now that he's almost killed me. I'm just trying to see the trails of blood. I think they show up as yellow. I don't think they show up as red. I'm not sure. Let's see. Oh, this guy's doing a slip move. Did a sweet power slide. Like he's in Van Halen or something. This guy's murdering me. This guy's, like, throwing stone. Oh, he's got spears. I've got a spear, too. I don't use it that often. I think it's stronger than a club, but... A little bit difficult to aim. I'll use it here in a moment if I need to. So let's see if we can get to this objective over here. Let's see what this is. Stones of the Lost Location Discovered. And there's a lot of these. I'll show you the map here in a moment again. And anytime there's a fire source, I've ignited my club, and you can use this. There are some catacombs to go inside of. So I guess that was really the, ob the objective here. So there's anything over here. Sometimes there's paintings you can look at, and that looks like a painting. Cave drawing, cave art, good old cave art. Pretty advanced cave art. Usually, when I watch the Discovery Channel or Nat Geo, I'm seeing stick figures and stuff. And, and look at this. Now that it's, I guess it's nighttime, even though it's hard to tell because I've got this club. But look at the the god rays and all that stuff coming down, and the fog, and you know they they did a really good job on this in terms of the the visuals, but if you go back to Far Cry 2 last generation, what is this? This is all sparkly. It must be something really good. Far Cry 2 looked incredible. And that was a pretty moderately early in life game. So let's see what else we've got.
skills. Do we have any skill points? Six? Wow, okay. See, I've got these skills, but I don't really have much to unlock. So here's our eagle. Oh, these are Beastmaster skills. Okay, so let's see. Um, the owl can drop your sting bombs, berserk bombs, and fire bombs. That sounds like something I want. And over here, your owl can perform a dive attack. I didn't know I had an owl. I guess my kid got that one. Let's see. The owl attack cooldown is reduced from 80 seconds to 65. Lepers, jaguars, rare black, jaguars, cave lions, and rare blacks. So, a tameable. Okay, so, well, he likes to tame, so I better give that to make up for the murdering of his wolf. Ah, he's going to be so angry. It's going to haunt me. I'm going to have nightmares about it. Okay, let's have a look at the map and see. I have one more skill point, but nothing to buy. These are other... Um, so we've got her. I don't know. So it tells you, let's see. I need to build Sela's hut. And um, let me go to a quick travel point because we have... This is very similar to Far Cry 4. You can see the... We've got a mission right here. Very similar to Far Cry 4 in that you got all the animals on the map that show you where you can do the hunts. And let's see if there's a legend. Is there a legend filter? Okay, so, so here's our main missions. And I, I'm i guessing this is a main mission. <laughs> okay, okay, so we have to do that. So we need to go there and let's see if we can quick travel there. Let's, yeah, we'll do a fast travel from this point. So, I mean, I'm basically still in, if I'm, if I've got a mission to build Sailor's Hut, that's pretty much tutorial stuff right there. Let's burn up this wolf. Where did he go? So here's, oh, am I on, I think I just lit myself on fire. Okay. Whatever. Not the dumbest thing I'll do in this series. So we've got some these goats. I really need to get my wolf back. I think you can anything you've tamed. I think you can get it back. But let's let's get here because we got a long walk, 500 meters. It looks like. In terms of the world size, it's hard to tell right now. Missions typically, again, I'm pretty much still in tutorial mode, so it's walking me through how to play the game. But you um, you build up these bases and you can get more upgrades because of that. The enemies are possibly a little bit more diverse than you might find in a shooter in something like Far Cry 4, and I say that because um, basically in Far Cry 4, everybody's... it's basically just a dude with a gun. But in this game, there are guys with stronger armor. Animals are enemies as well, although they certainly fight animals in Far Cry 4. Um, and you do have the melee guys, you have the ranged guys. So there's a decent variety in the way that you fight them, although I, I would say that the AI is is possibly one of the weakest elements of this game. And it's you don't even think about it being bad AI necessarily. I need to heal real quick. You don't think about it being poor AI, but and you go in the water and your your torch burns out. You don't necessarily think about it being poor AI, but there's just something about it that you feel like it should be a little bit more complex. The the animals and the the enemies that you fight seem to have very very specific patterns that they follow. 